let's begin the debate. The Congress party looks to be uh, getting a little frustrated at the possibility of Narendra Modi getting a visa or America warming up to Narendra Modi as perhaps the first act of uh, coming closer together. Now, those who are positioned against Narendra Modi tonight getting close to the Americans or rather should I say positioned against the Americans getting close to Narendra Modi. Madhukar Jaitley of the Samajwadi party, Pawan Varma who is uh, with the JDU and Sanjay Jha of the Congress party. And on the other side, we have a double-pronged attack from the BJP. We have Hardeep Singh Puri, BJP leader. Devang Nanavati of the BJP joins us from Ahmedabad. And we have uh, Sunil Alag, who is at the BJP camp. We'll be going across to Washington in some time. Gentlemen, so... Voice is gone. Voice is gone. Sanjay Jha. Okay, don't have the voice. That's, that's Ray Locker, National Security Advisor of USA Today. So, Pawan Varma, what do you make of uh, the Americans getting close to Narendra Modi? Is it a sign of the 2014 verdict? Uh, Arnab, the support or opposition to Mr. Narendra Modi is an internal matter of India and a matter of its internal democratic debate and dynamics. It is not a matter that can be judged from how another foreign country reacts to it. For that very reason, the earlier ban that the US has imposed and which is still there on his visa did not devalue Mr. Modi's constitutionally elected status as the Chief Minister of Gujarat. Similarly, if the American ambassador in Delhi is meeting with him, as envoys from foreign countries meet with many chief ministers, it does not take away the deep reservations that many people in India continue to have about his views on religious harmony and the essential plurality of India. Therefore, I don't believe that the world's largest democracy should necessarily judge an internal issue which we can resolve through our own democratic debate and discussion and the dynamics of our democratic process should be judged by how a foreign power reacts in one way or the other. So, but the Congress party seems, seems to have made the whole issue of an American ban a key issue to target Modi on. Ask Sanjay Jha. They have made, even today, that's instead of saying we stoutly have strongly and always opposed any ban on the movement of an elected Indian chief minister or we oppose any such discrimination. Instead of that, the Congress party has been gloating Sanjay Jha for at least eight to nine years. It's been gloating over the fact that Narendra Modi does not get entry into America even if he wants to. Sanjay, where is that gloating gone today? Arnab, gloating turns to mourning. No, no, Arnab, let me tell you two things here. Very, very. Let me tell you two things which are very relevant here. Number one, the decision to reject or accept a visa is done by a host country of its entire own right. Tomorrow, if you you don't get a U.S. visa and I get one, you know you cannot blame the U.S. and I can't start applauding it. No, that's it's that's rubbish. You you have built political uh, capital. Country, you have party. built. Have you have you or have one you minute. not? No, 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 Sanjay, country, Sanjay, one minute. I'm sure you can hear me. I'm sure you can hear me. Right. You can hear me, right? Because sometimes when you continue, I, I begin to worry that you actually can't hear me. I am sure that now you can hear me. Now, I, my, my accusation against the Congress party is, which you will acknowledge, that you tried to build political capital, keeping national interest aside. You selfishly tried to build political capital out of America's denial of a visa to Modi. This was your ammunition. Ammunition, Sanjay Jha. It was constantly your ammunition. Salman Khushi well, well, in April 2012 you. says, no, no. people must think. No, no. Salman Khushi says that this decision reflects on that person. And the person, that is Modi, should think why the world thinks so poorly of him. So now that the world does not think poorly of him, should you at least well, change your position? Why did you, why did you try to make political capital of this case? Why did you do that, Sanjay? Well, well, Arnab, let me answer your question very, very quickly. We have consistently, since the time the Ghasdi pogrom happened 
in Gujarat, our position politically, judicially, legally has been the same. That justice needs to be brought. That's a prime issue that we have been fighting in in India. Please now, don't, tell no, Sanjay, Sanjay, Sanjay Gujarat, you know, please don't make up facts. It was a disgrace. It's a disgrace. No, don't be factual. One minute. No, don't it was a disgrace in India. India. Let me tell you. No, you, you, did you, did you it's make a political capital India. of it? And it was seen all over the world. Why are you just talking? Did you why make you political capital of it? Hardeep Puri, did they make political capital of it? Hardeep Puri, Hardeep Puri, did the Congress party make political capital of it? Well, let me tell you. Did you make political capital of it, Sanjay? You can hear me. I'm sure you can hear me. India. Did you make political capital of it, Hardeep Puri? No, 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 no. Don't, don't tell me about justice. The fact no, is, you make political, political capital, capital out of it. The world, let me tell you, there let you me are. tell you, Modi damaged the reputation of India and that is the biggest blot that India is still taking time to overcome. This is not about one politician in Gujarat who allowed a pogrom to happen. It's about the damage that is done you, to the you, entire you circular fabric of this nation so wh what is the your entire international well, community. Uh, let's get it's not just about the United States. Sanjay, and for the record, let's Sanjay, tell you, I don't know. You know I, record, I am totally confused nowadays. To I don't understand. I know that is a... Mr. Modi not come clean. No, I Mr. Know. Modi has still not come clean on Gujarat riots. No, Even till today. Would you? If you look at the latest would Outlook you, cover article, would you, would you? people are still going to contest the SIT's clean shit given You almost seem to be So there are issues that we need to discuss. I agree with you. I think it you was are in, Pawan you Pawan are in Pawan mourning Pawan today. Who said that we need to debate it internally? You are in mourning today. No, I do. I look like it. I'm telling you, we are looking for justice. Well, let me tell you, if you believe Nancy Powell's meeting with Mr. Modi is an endorsement of Mr. Modi's uh, conduct during 2002 riots, then I must admit ruefully, Arnab, that you have got your political dynamics completely wrong. Well, I, I would only say this to you. I would only say this to you that I hope and wish that the Congress post spokesperson Sanjay Jha had the same kind of courage to say to Salman Khurshid that Mr. Salman Khurshid, when you are a foreign minister of India, why were you trying to take mileage of it? Mr. Manish Tiwari, when you have been information and broadcasting minister of India, why were you trying to take mileage of it? If you were not yeah, trying I'm to take mileage of mileage this, of it, it, one minute, then Arnab Goswami would not be asking me the questions Arnab, today and I would Arnab, not be in a different position. What's it? Hardi Puri, did they try to did take political mileage of it? Hardi Puri, Hardi Puri comes in, please. Hardi Puri. Mr. Puri of the BJP. This is the call of the US Mr. Government. Puri of the BJP. I of would Arnab. like Mr. to get in a word edgeways. Now, if Mr. if Mr. Sanjay Jha will kindly show the rest of the people on the panel the courtesy of being allowed to get in a word in Edgeward, Edgeways. The bottom Sorry. line here is that a concerted attempt was made to make political capital out of this. The whole process is now unraveling. It is unraveling within the country. Uh, Mr. Modi's popularity, the kind of um, response he is receiving from the domestic electorate, Last year, the ambassadors of the European Union, the German ambassador, the High Commissioner of Canada, the High Commissioner of Australia, the High Commissioner of the United Kingdom were going to meet Mr. Modi. And now that we have the American ambassador, my advice to Mr. Sanjay Jha is to have a good look at what his foreign minister uh, has been saying, what the Minister of Information and Broadcasting has been saying, including today. That strategy Mr. Jha, is saying. falling apart. Absolutely correct. The least you can do they now is to correct. face up to the facts. They are absolutely correct. And the facts are, Both the facts of are that you have tried and the your best to make political capital out of this hurts. and you have not succeeded. Can you can go you? on repeating ad nauseum, you can Gujarat refuse to uh, has got accept some closure, acquisitions you can get exposure. The whole issue Mr. now Puri. is, has Adab, been... Adab, let me just tell Mr. Puri... No, let him complete. Just no, let him complete. I think you're not letting him complete. Let's not make you... You I know, think you're not letting him complete. I'm, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Sanjay Jha. Sanjay Jha, you know, let's talk Turkey here. Let's talk straight. Okay? So you say that you are... A person is elected chief minister of a state. He is constitutionally the chief minister of a state elected thrice. That is the will of the people so uh, demonstrated. 
On top of that, the well, judicial Mr. process, Puri, to the extent I, it has been completed, has exonerated him. Now the rest of the world to wants debate. to. Mr. Well, Sanjay Mr. Ja, Puri, what you is debated the threshold? When the will you come to accept riots, the facts as, as a they Congress exist? Party spokespeople, I will not take that flimsy pretext. We won elections in Punjab. Doesn't mean that 1984 was right. 1984 was wrong. And yeah. as, a, as a spokesperson so of was party, Rajiv Gandhi. Condemn it. Are you trying to tell me that as a party we should make political capital? I am, I am saying today you should say. Saying. I am saying today. I am saying today, Sanjay Jha. You are Sanjay Jha, like minute. Hypocrite Sanjay Jha, if you are not being a no, hypocritical, no, if you are not being Mr. hypocritical Puri. tonight, Arnab, Arnab, listen to me. me. Listen to me, Sanjay Jha. One Puri, minute, Sanjay. Mr. Puri, Sanjay, be clear. Sanjay, be clear. Take a question. Take a question. Electoral victory. Take a question. And why are you in mourning, Sanjay? Why are you in mourning? My question to Sanjay Jha. And argue Sanjay. on 1984 riots and justify Modi on victories in Gujarat state elections. M Mr. Mr. Is ja. that the way Indians should look Mr. at ja. the, uh, terrible Mr. lapses? Mr. Ja, you played football with Mr. the 1984 riots. You played football. The there also you fallen flat on your face. In 1984, your own, your own vice president has admitted to the involvement of, the of uh, several people you. from the Congress party. Come out of this. You know, you owe yourself. You owe no, yourself no, to get closure on this. Hypocrisy. Because this is going to I'm haunt you when you hypocrisy. sit in the opposition. I'm and then you will not have this kind of Mr. time Puri. that is being accorded to you and the kind of patience which the people of India have shown you. Mr. Right, Mr. Puri, you one stand exposed uh, today. Ray, Ray Locker, I have just one question for you. The double standards and the double speak of the You people. know, all this... One second. If there is double yes. standards and double speak, the only party that can be, you accused of double standards and double speak beside the Congress party on this subject is the United States of America. I mean, Mr. Locker, what changed apart from the possibility of Narendra Modi becoming Prime Minister in a few months? What changed? What happened to your, you, you know, to all the concern on human rights? Well, what happened? Obviously, what happens is people in the United States and the State Department, people in the embassy in New Delhi can read the polls. It's obviously that Narendra Modi, despite all the problems that happened in uh, 2002 with the riots, is positioned to probably be the next Prime Minister of India. It would be ridiculous for the United States to not meet with him. It's a ma India and the United States are major trading partners. There's tremendous business opportunities, not only in Gujarat, but the rest of the country. And then the United States needs to meet with him because he's a potential world leader. To not do so would be foolish. And that's why they're doing it. So, so what about talks between Barack Obama and Ahmadinejad, for example? Um, what, about, what about inviting the Iranian, the Iranian government, all its ministers, also for talks. I mean, they, you've not seen eye to eye with them. Would you also do that in the um, future? Well, yes. obviously, the United States is reaching out to the Iranian government. Uh, they had the meeting at the UN with Rouhani or the, the phone call. There are talks going on now. So That's part of what any government so, so Ray, does. So, Ray, Ray I appreciate your candor. And, I, uh, I appreciate is, your candor. And also, what, what you're saying is it's pure business sense, right? It makes business sense. <laughs> to talk to somebody who is likely to be the next prime minister. I mean, let's be clear. You know, please don't, at least, at least you're being honest today and admitting that all this human rights talk is garble, it's rubbish, it's a camouflage. Convenient when you want to use it, when inconvenient, remove it. Says he's going to be the well, next let's think about the context. No, no, what's Sanjay, why are you speaking for the Americans? Let the Americans speak for themselves. Why are you getting worked up? Oh, Let sorry. Mr. Lockup no, no. speak for himself. No, 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 I don't no, think no, that no, I don't think not. Mr. Locker needs I'm covering saying, fire from the Congress so party. Okay. It's all right. No, no. Why, why, why are we being so presumptuous in this entire discussion to assume that Mr. Modi is going to be the next Prime Minister? I, I think, think that to me is a ridiculous... Hey, you tell the Americans that. Why are you asking you me? You never know. You never know. We may get Mr. Rahul Gandhi. You may, we may get Mr. Rahul no, Gandhi. No, you, but you know... You pose uh, the question. The Arnab, issue here is different. The question. If Mr. Rahul Gandhi gets elected, he will be the Prime Minister of India. Let Mr. Loka complete. Yeah. That is correct. I mean, if he does... Okay, so in 2002 when this uh, visa restriction happened, it was also in the context of the run-up to the Iraq War. 
the United States needed to not alienate Muslim nations any more than it needed to, and the problems in Gujarat factored into that. So at the time that made sense under the Bush administration. Now we have changing times. We have a new administration trying to do different things. It's obviously the facts on the ground in India have changed. My God, the Mr. Loka, to react to that. Mr. Loka, Mr. Loka, that's it, Sanjay Jha. Here's a candid admission from, from, from Washington. I see a hand go up. Devang Nanavati is there. Our guest from Washington openly admits. No, no, one sec. I see no, your hand go up as well. So he openly Arnab, admits. Just, no, no. Let me. Let me. He admits Arnab, that the ban, Arnab, the ban on Narendra Modi something. in 2005 by the then Republican government of George Bush was aimed at keeping the Muslim world happy. It had nothing to do with human rights or their belief, fundamental Arnab, belief in human rights. The world. Sanjay Jha. It seems only Salman Kushi wants to milk this. Yes, Arnab, Devang Nanavati. Arnab, Devang Nanavati. Now, please. Arnab, Arnab. Well, I can't comment Arnab on U.S. foreign world policy look at their and look at their interest. Strategic initiatives in towards it, that end. Uh, the Sanjay, 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 you are not the only speaker on this show. Keep yeah, yeah. quiet for a minute, please, and listen to other views. You may not agree with them, but please have the courtesy to listen to it. You see, Arnab, the point is that world over, in foreign policy matters, countries look at their interests first. That is what Mr. Modi even says, India first. It is unfortunate for the past 60 years, out of which most of the time we've had a Congress government, we've had relationships and talked about non-aligned movements, etc. We've never worried about India first. We've never seen India's interest. We want to sound politically correct. We don't want to look at the real politic. America looks at it. This is not a debate about BJP or Congress or the riots or this or that. It's a reality that Mr. Narendra Modi is one of the tallest leaders in India today. He is for all surety to be the Prime Minister in waiting, the next Prime Minister of India. And America as one of the most important nations in the world, along with India, which is one of the most important nations, would obviously like to have a relationship. Why are we being so naive? What Mr. Walker said is absolutely correct. Every country in its foreign policy looks for its interest. And now you know the real reason yes. why the U.S. really made this hue and cry about the visa in 2005. Mm. It was never for human rights, never for a minute that they thought that Mr. Modi is responsible and we want to indict Mr. Modi. It was done oh, to are. please a certain community. Just as in India, certain, certain parties play vote bank politics. America played its own vote bank politics on the world level, on the international foreign policy level. Well, I mean, you know, we I, are, I think... should not be so naive see, as see, not to understand not and know speaking. this. No, Ray is the national security advisor of USA Today. He is not speaking for the American government. B uh, uh, national security editor of USA Today. But he is not speaking for the That's American right. government. But it's a, no, one minute. Yes, Ray. But it's an important candid perspective. Yeah, but it's... I, it's I, I appreciate it's the, it. It's... it's yeah, it's a perspective of the right. U.S. government, obviously. The, Arnab, when the you issue do TV is, shows, you don't speak for the government, but you surely represent a majority view of the country. 